Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today's project uses a super fine yarn. I'm using this yarn called Indofil under the category 4 ply. We also need a size E or a 3.5mm crochet hook, a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. Join this week's giveaway and grab the chance to get the PDF pattern of this top for free by answering the question below. And if you're new here, hello there. My name is Kat and I make crochet tutorials. You can follow me on Instagram as well as my Facebook page at What About Yarn. And if you like this video, please hit like, comment down below, and subscribe. To begin, we will make a slip knot. And we're going to work up a chain from the armpit down to the waistline. For my size, that will be a total of 42 chains. Once you have your chain, we're going to work a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. And to do that, we're going to yarn over, insert the hook in the third chain, grab the yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on the hook, and yarn over and pull through those three loops. Now repeat that same stitch into each chain. End of row 1, continue with row 2, starting with a chain of 2. Chain 2 here will count as 1 stitch or 1 half a double crochet. Now we're going to work a half double crochet into each stitch, but this time we will insert our hook in the back loop of each stitch. So yarn over and insert the hook in the back loop of the next stitch and work a half double crochet as usual. Continue with a half double crochet back loop all the way until the end. End of row number 2. You will work your last stitch in the second chain of the turning chain 2. Just like so. Now continue with row number 3, starting with a chain of 2. And you're going to repeat that same row again. So work a half double crochet back loop only into each stitch and you're going to repeat this until the length of your panel will completely wrap around your chest and make sure that your panel is not too loose or too tight. For my size, that will be a total of 97 rows. Here I have my panel. Now we're going to connect both of the edges together with a slip stitch or with any technique of your choice but make sure that you will not work about 2 inches from the end of your panel because this is where we will place our I-cord later for the front of our top. Next, we're going to attach the yarn into any of the rows at the upper right corner of our top as well as the other side. Once you have that, we will work a chain that will go above our shoulders and towards the back. For my size, that will be a total of 58 chains. Now without twisting the chains, we're going to connect this into the back part in the opposite row of our work with a slip stitch. Now turn your work. Now from here, we're going to work a single crochet for our round number one. And we will connect this with a slip stitch in the first stitch. So starting with the next row, we're going to work two single crochet in the next row. One and two and two single crochet as well in the next. At the chains, we will work one single crochet. And when you get to the end, 
we will slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round and that ends our round number one for the sleeves now continue with a chain of three and do not turn your work chain three here will count as one double crochet and for this round round number two we will work one double crochet into each stitch At the end of this round, we will slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3. And that ends round number 2. Now chain 3 and do not turn your work. Now from here, we're going to repeat round number 2 until the length of our sleeve will go all the way at the tip of our shoulders. Just at the tip of our shoulders. So for my size, that will be a total of 8 rows of double crochet plus 1 round of single crochet so that makes it nine rounds here i have my sleeve now from here we're going to work the provision for the i cord so continue with a chain of three chain three here will count as one stitch and work one double crochet all the way until you reach the middle part at the top of the sleeves I'm now at the top of my sleeve now chain one and skip one stitch and continue with one double crochet in the next stitch all the way until you get to the end of this round the end of the round we will slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three now chain three and we're going to work the next round or the last round so work two double crochet back in that same chain that means we have three stitches in one stitch now continue with three double crochet in each of the stitches all the way around At the end of the round we will slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three and fasten off and cut the yarn and i'm going to show you how to make the i cord now to make the i cord we will take our yarn and fold that in half so make sure that you will have enough yarn for this part now make a slip knot and insert the hook into the middle of the knot Now we're going to separate the strands we have here the upper part and the lower strand now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the lower strand into the hook and we're going to hold that in place and yarn over and pull through two loops so it's very easy again wrap the lower strand into the hook yarn over and pull up a loop so just continue working this until you reach the length that you need for your size Now cut the yarn and create a knot to secure the eye cord. Next, we're going to place this in the chain one space that we created at the top of our 
its leaves and we're going to create a knot to secure next we're going to place the rest of the eye cord in the provision that we created at the sleeves earlier Repeat the same procedure for the other side of your panel. But this time, we're going to attach the yarn in the back side of our panel instead of the front part. And from the back, we will continue working the sleeves. Next, attach the yarn into any of the rows at the bottom. And from here, we will chain 3. Chain 3 here will count as 1 stitch or 1 double crochet. Now we're going to work 3 double crochet in the next row. And in the next row, we will work 1 double crochet. And in the next row again, 3 double crochet, 1 double crochet, 3 double crochet, 1 double crochet. That will be the sequence that we will repeat for this round. the end of the round we will slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three after this do not turn your work we will continue with round number two starting with a chain of three again chain three here will count as one double crochet or one stitch now on the next stitch we will work one double crochet And here in the middle part of our we have here this three double crochet in the previous round right so every time we work a stitch in the middle part or the second double crochet in those three double crochet we're going to increase and when I say increase that means you will work two stitches in one stitch so starting with this we will do two double crochet as you can see here now on the next stitch we will just do one double crochet and continue with this pattern so the next stitch is just one double crochet so just remember to make an increase every time you work in the middle stitch or the second stitch of the three double crochet and this will be the sequence that you will repeat throughout this round at the end of this round we will slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three and again do not turn your work continue with round number three with a chain of three and work a double crochet in the next stitch now for this round we have the increasing stitches as you can see here we have this two double crochet increase now what we're going to do is we're going to work an increase on top of these two stitches so we're going to do two increases so for this part the first increase we will do two double crochet and then on the next one on the next stitch again another two double crochet so that means we're going to increase twice so again for row number or round number three we will increase twice every time we are working in the increasing stitch from the previous round so this will be the sequence that you will repeat work one double crochet in each stitch and work an increase in the increasing stitches at the end of the row fasten off and cut the yarn and we will continue with the second tier now for this part we're going to attach the yarn in the second row 
from the back of our first tier. As you can see here, I'm inserting my hook in one of the stitches from the back at the second row. Like so. So, continue with round number one of the second tier, chain three. Chain three will count as one stitch. And for round number one of the second tier, we will just work one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. This part is a little bit tricky, but over time you get used to inserting your hook in these stitches from the back. End of row or round number one for the second tier. We're going to slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three to close this round. Now moving on to round number two, chain three, and do not turn your work. Chain three will count as one stitch. And work one double crochet in each stitch. And then we're going to do an increase. So for this round, we will make three double crochet and then an increase. And that will be the sequence that we will repeat. So work two double crochet since our chain three here will count as one double crochet and we need to make three double crochet in total. That's three. After this, we will do an increase. So work two double crochet in the same stitch. One. two so from here we will continue with working three double crochet in each stitch one two and three and then an increase in the next stitch you will keep on working that sequence until you get to the end of the round At the end of the round, we will slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3 to close this round. And moving on with round number 3, starting with a chain of 3, chain 3 will count as one stitch. And for this round, we will just repeat what we did in the pattern for the first tier in the third round. So we're going to do an increase on top of the increasing stitches or increasing stitch from the previous round. So for this round, work one double crochet in each stitch. And when you get to the increasing stitch from the previous round, we're going to work an increase on top of those stitches. So we have here the increasing stitch. We're going to do two double crochet in the first stitch and another two double crochet on the next stitch. So one and another one. And that is our first increase. And again, we will make the second increase in the second stitch. One and two. I hope you guys can follow me because <laughs> I'm having a hard time following myself as well. So. Now continue with this pattern, just work one double crochet in each stitch and when you get to the increasing stitch from the previous round, you're going to work an increase as well.
At the end of the round, we will slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3 and fasten off and cut the yarn. Now, for the, or for the third tier, we're just going to repeat what we did here for the second tier. So, you're going to attach the yarn in the second row from the back of your work and continue making the pattern that you did here for this, um, for the second tier. After that, we're going to fasten off and cut the yarn and weave in all of the ends and we're going to make another eye cord that is long enough for the front of our work, for the front of the top. And when you have your eye cord, you're going to place that on both edges of the panel at the seam. Friends, that marks the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment box below and I will do my best to answer them. Join this week's giveaway and grab the chance to get the PDF pattern of this top for free by answering the question below. Thank you so much guys for watching and as always, have a good day. I'll see you on the next video.